I don't know what happened, but paint leaked and there was this big gnarly scratch on the table. And guys, this is a restoration hardware table. It wasn't cheap, but yet I feel that it's pretty much ruined at this point. Okay you guys, so I wanna just give you a sneak peek of what this room looks like before it gets transformed. I already removed a lot of the things here, so I quickly remembered to pull the camera out to show you before it's completely different. So you might be able to go back in one of my old videos when I showed the reveal of the front room and dining room, you can see it there. But I removed the painting off the wall here and these are the shelves that we are going to be putting up. I got these at Target. I will link them down. I really want a wooden table. So it kind of was like a unfortunate accident that will turn into something positive. So I'm gonna take matters into my own hands and many of you are probably gonna cringe, but guys, the table's already destroyed. I mean, look at that. And um, I think if I take it down to like a natural, take the black off and just leave it like a rustic farmhouse table, that's kind of like the idea. I am nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because it's a lot of table and I might lose some of the grain, some of the texture here, um, you guys can see. So I'm not sure, but I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, quick update. Sorry we can't hear me, the fan's on to blow all of the dust. I'm so tired, my hands are so sore. But here's the update of what's going on. I really love it, guys. It looks so good. Okay, you guys, I got in the car because as I was styling the shelves, I decided I don't have enough black sculptural things, so I'm doing a quick run to Home Goods. Luckily, it is not, it's about a mile or two away from our home. And yeah, so I feel like things are incomplete and I searched my basement, I searched my garage, and while you guys know I have so many things, I just didn't have the right pieces, and you guys know what I mean. So I am hoping that Home Goods has a few cool things that are sculptural, that are black, that really just pop from the shelf. So far I got this. I kind of like this for the wall. you guys here is the reveal of my table I am absolutely in love did you even notice that my table was herringbone before you can so see it well now and guys I am super stoked it looks like a real reclaimed wood um, I tried really hard to get all the black out but I actually really love all of those um, organic just black areas because it just really makes it look aged. This is the outcome, very pleased with it. I also have these really cool um, bench cubes that I got from Wayfair when we first moved into the house. It really, we're just sitting in our garage and I thought it would be really cute as a nice addition. So I'm going to put the other one on the other side. All right, you guys, so here's that awesome wooden trough bowl that I got from Tuesday morning that I showed you in a previous video. I think it looks so good in here now. 
It really matches and just sets the whole vibe for this table. And yeah, so I'm probably gonna fill it with some artichokes or some lemons, I'm not sure yet, but I just really like the way that it is. I just love the um, organic piece of wood set on top of the wooded table now. All right guys, so now that we have our dining room all styled, I am ready to show you. I'm gonna swing around. Oh, it's so bright. There's a lot of light in this house, guys. I'm so sorry, but it's exposing properly now. For the fireplace, I took everything that I did have there. And if you guys remember, I had the, um, the white and brass club chairs here and the little brass tables from, I believe, West Elm or One Kings Lane. And I had a really huge antique mirror that was on this wall. <laughs> so everything has been changed. I'm gonna show you what I did set in place, and then we're going to style the table and the fireplace together. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through, I'm gonna back out and walk you through what I've already done so far. Then we're gonna add all of the finishing touches, which is the most exciting part, and bring in, and kind of like bring it all together. So. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys, so this is what the front room looks now. I pushed my two Marcel Brouwer chairs up here. So I've had this little um, rug for quite some time. And I picked up this little low profile table, believe it or not, at one of the Goodwills near me. But this has some chrome legs, which I thought was perfect to go with the chrome leg chairs. So I removed everything that was here. I had lots of artwork. Um, I had some pottery, as you guys remember, and I brought back the black mid-century lamp. So I there is my dining room. So it's sort of when you come in, this is the first room you see. And I have some things already set up there for us to style. And then there's this side, which I'm still, I'm still a little torn what to put here. Guys, I'm not in a rush. I've been here one whole year. So um, I remember I bought that little bench in my last video and it was perfect for the video, but I do not believe that it matches. So that will leave, but I need to put something there. And if I don't find something for there, we'll find one and then I'll film it <laughs> and I'll show you. So guys, I bought this yesterday also at Home Goods. I wanted to show you this piece real quick. Originally, I thought it was going to go over there on that wall, but it was just a little, it just wasn't the right vibe. So I took it down and I thought this was pretty cool. It's just like very mid-century, just abstract and it has some nice texture. So I'm going to put it here up there so I have this and I also ordered this amazing horse from Pottery Barn's website which came super fast I wasn't supposed to get it until next week but I'm glad that it came in right on time for this video so let me so here's the horse that I got from Pottery Barn I thought it was a lot lighter to be honest it showed the horse white unless there were two different colors and maybe I didn't select it um but it's kind of rusty it looks green on camera it's not green it's kind of more of a rust and it does have some kind of patina on it's supposed to look aged nonetheless i love it and of course nothing but a little paint if i ever get truly um tired of this color could always just redo it so this was 149 i got free shipping and it came in like literally two or three days so 
that was really nice. So this I'm going to start placing on the fireplace. This is going to be my main focal um, object on the fireplace and then I'm gonna work around it. So this is, this is the starting point. I still wanna keep it very minimal so I'm not going to work this too much. I'm probably gonna put some books there and maybe a candle and call it a day because I feel like there's two huge statement pieces there. So I kind of want to start big and then work my way into subtle, minimalistic pieces. Um, so I found these books. I think they are perfect. They have black binding. And this is the other piece I got at Home Goods yesterday. Nothing special, but it was super cool. It's just this wrought iron ball. And it really picks up well with the, um, the metal black sculpture thing I got. So I think that looks really good. All right, you guys, this is the final front room reveal. to my garden and pull some more greenery just so that it ties in with the um, dining room. I put the black lamp here. So here's that. 